Da. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged the campaign of peace. Live long. And... 21 years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. The Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now, the Borg have reappeared, and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. today was of course I was first in line oh before I forget I think Rasky is just ahead he wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the astrometrics final Prepare my old characters no more so I have to go through all this over again there you are I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final, and for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? 
Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farron, get your assignment, you should find Tavral. She wanted to talk to you. She... Good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. Give me my your mini map shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the mini map if you are far away from your objectives. Thank you. Ooh, I can do. Ooh. Oh, I can run too. There you are. Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training cruise, we'll Ooh, all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. Mm. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Okay. I know it said thanks, but thanks in the back there. Uh, pew, 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 pew. Can I blow up some run? <laughs> there. Really? The cat guy's named Farah. Good afternoon, cadet. What can I do for you? Yes, I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. You're going to have to ask him. Okay. Objects you can interact with have a glow around them. Press the X button to interact with the doorbell to notify Captain Taggart of your presence. Come. Cadet. I have four head ridges. I think I'm part clean. Anyway. I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy. And I must say, I'm impressed. I'm just looking at your final test scores. But I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no exceptions. I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, oh, I can shit. put you on my bridge. Up. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Okay. Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few blemishes. Still. I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, Cadet. Oh, I can't jump. How'd I jump? How'd I jump? Okay, hold your down into the menu, and just tap and it gives me a jump. Whee! 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 I got the tactical officer spot, just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? 
You never did that? I thought you were Mr. Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Don't no worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holiday. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Almost like this is a scripted event. <laughs> hmm. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. Maybe you should go back in I time. sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. To sprint, press and hold the left stick while moving. Last one of the console buys the first round tonight. Setting up the training program now. Phasers are in the lockers by the half. Press left to scan the area. Your tricorder will point you toward your nearest objective. Barely remember this. I remember getting stuck on something. It's like, uh, whatever. When people wanted to do role playing. I was like, oh, okay. I didn't actually know what that they were doing. So it was like, oh, just dandy. There. It's different. Get this. The pistol has been automatically equipped. Lasers. Lasers. Move to the center of the room. Call back. Door. I came in the city. Oh, okay. Not specifically in the region. And there. Begin. Press the R2 button to fire your weapon in combat. While in combat, certain actions are disabled. Once you drop out of combat, more detail about ground combat will become available. Academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Sure. Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Congratulations. Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, Cadet. I'm so proud. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. Now. It's easy to get into the first officers. It's not like I have to you know, work from the ground up to do that, but I remember. First officer, way to go. Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. Jimmy and Dick. Don't let it go to your head, buddy. You'll do great. <gasps> but we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone. Oh, how is the shuttle bay? <sighs> Your staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment hall. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. Okay. Where would you put that? Okay, dumbest thing ever, but. Okay, toast, inspire, intimidate, be humble, inspire, I need to humility, raise class 2409. All cadets, please board your shuttles.
think he'll tell me when he stops recording. Maybe uh, what to do the the tutorial. Let's try this with a VR headset. I have. I can't believe we're finally light. doing I this. Paid four hundred and fifty dollars for this. Uh, look uh, at PS4 that. PS4 and VR. I don't have the money to. The USS Vesta, first of her class. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's our ship. It's Miranda. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp 5 point nothing. She's a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. <clears throat> Crash right into it. Whoops. Now I have to learn how to. Now that I've learned how to walk, now I need to fly a. Okay. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. Position. I have your record right here, sir. Welcome to the ship. Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use the turbo lift behind me. It will take you directly there. Advance for Miranda class, but whatever. Yeah, this is a turbo lift from the uh, um, next generation. Whatever. Yeah, this doesn't look Miranda. Unless it was refitted like 500 billion times. Welcome to the bridge, number one. Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my oh. number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. But first, we need to get out of dry dock. Get clearance from control and close the shuttle bay doors. Then disable the tractor moorings. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good, number one. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Very good, number one. Yeah, apparently, I have to do that myself because I'm a freaking. Gotta do everything. This tracker beam. Wee. Oh, that's back here. Wee. Everything has a place. Do, 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 do. Wait. Oh, okay. So I had to. Whatever. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. Just checking to see if you were paying attention, number one. Potter, take us out. Savage. Maximum thrusters. To sit, press the X button while targeting the chair you wish to sit in. I learned how to sit today. You look easy. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with I something easy. Dry dock and space. Set course for Vulcan. Dry. Course lead in, sir. Engage. You're gonna die and I'm gonna become Captain. <laughs> what time do you remember this? I think it changed it, but... I remember the, uh, stuff on this. Stuff. Captain. I am picking up a distress call from the SS Breakeven. Audio only. Let's hear it, Tavrell. This is the SS Breakeven. Our warp core is failing, and we are in need of assistance. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room, prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, 
Sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the break even. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Trevrell. Well, I think we leave them. Number one, let's discuss the situation. Yes, sir. Even though I'm not wearing your uniform. You heard the distress call, number one. What do you think we should do? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break even, so it's our duty to assist. Good. What do you advise? Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. I agree. Employers, raise shields. Number one, get down to the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. Yay! Get the dilator. See ya. Peddler. This is a lot better than the uh, PC one. I remember it being... Okay. Getting some weird readings. Your cap. Your cap. Uh, I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Okay. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Okay. Hang on. This vessel is now property of Captain Kader of the IKS Chunk. Yeah. Good thing I still have a weapon. Silent attack. Stop! Security is reporting disruptive fire in the transporter room, and Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. They're boarding us. You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find. We still have weapons. I'll do what I can. For now, I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. Sure. Here you can see your equipped items and this is your character. Here you can select the item item. 
Press the right stick to crouch. Crouching gives a defensive bonus against ranged attacks, but increases damage from melee attacks. Gun, you know you're pixelated, dude. Why do I need a bridge? Send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Go okay. see to the bridge. We will secure this area. Sure. Good job with that. Do, do, do ships in a horrible thing. Transmission from the Klingons. This is Captain Kayak of the IKS Chart. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of fighting us or defeating us. Your choice is simple. Surrender, or we will kill your captain and then destroy your ship. Perhaps your captain will change your mind. Guardian ship's kind of gone. Make me proud. Again, because this is the same tutorial that every player played. We have target lock, Captain. Pasta. Fire. Or firewood. Can you start to accept them? Yes, sir. Sure. Target the iceberg. Direct hit! Curses on all decks! Shields! Shields! Fire all weapons! We have none anymore. Weapons and shields are offline! Yes, sir. We've lost their signal. What now? I have to do through the text dialogue to see. Or I don't get in. We... We survived. But... 
Captain. Now I should be in space. Elisa Flores is now your bridge officer. Bridge officers add abilities to your ship in space and accompany you on away missions on the ground. Okay. Okay. How do you move forward? That's up and down. That actually move it. The power. Take care of that. Uh, okay, so that's just power. Just bring down. I'm going to class. Oh, okay. Reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. She's still cloaked, but I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape, too, Captain. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. Hailing the break even now, Captain. Oh, um, hello, Starfleet. No hard feelings, right? I had to send that distress. And, um, because Starfleet's always ready to help and all, uh, could you help me repair my ship? Helm, uh, full stop. Your ship speed. I've stopped this this time, sir. But from now on, speed. you'll be responsible for adjusting the speed Use of the, the left ship. stick to pitch downward or upward, as well as to turn left or right. Looks like she just needs three or four warp induction coils. We have plenty of those to spare. Position yourself near the ships and press the X button to interact with them. Thanks! We'd help you if we could, but I just don't see any profit in that, you know? Because I'm a dude. Well, looks like we're on our own. At least they said thank you, I guess. About that cloaked ship full of Klingons? Almost done, Captain. Level 2 diagnostic shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Right. Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. It's an easy way to cripple the ship. I'm installing what spares we have, but okay. we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to war. We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. There's wreckage all over this region. I can scan the derelicts and see if any of them have That's intact question. plasma injectors. Bingo! I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Then press the R2 button to fire energy weapons. Injectors will do the trick, sir. Gorgeous technology. Type R, if I had to guess. 3.7 liter flow put with shielded reservoirs and a drop flow okay induction coil. Go to your bunk. 
You have your problems, I have mine. I'll need some time to get everything installed and run a level one diagnostic. <laughs> we don't want to blow up the moment we hit warp one. Zarva's dealing with the warp corp, but until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Oh, don't forget the cloaked Cleon battlecruiser. It's probably making repairs faster than we are. Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Tavrell has been working with the engineers, and they've pinpointed the locations of several Klingon signal jammers. That's what blocked our communications during the ambush. I, I recommend that we destroy the jamming satellites. We'll be able to get a call out to Starfleet then. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here. Welcome back. If this is actually working right, uh, I think I just broke the video. If not, I am doing something wrong because PS4 is actually doing all the recording. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Use your plasma beam to weaken shield and targets. are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? That Klingon ship took some real damage. I'll bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. You might be able to use that to find them. Yeah, everything's gotta happen, bro. Understood. I'd rather not die to Klingons on my first day. Got it. I can trace the plasma signature right to the source. I'll send the source of the plasma signature to navigation. It will show up on the map. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. Okay. I can make your death swift. Hold up on the D-pad to activate and deactivate full impulse. Multiple birds of prey to cloaking. more time to get the plasma injectors installed. In 
incoming transmission, sir. It is from Starfleet. This is Captain Volok of the USS Renown. Do you require assistance? Yes. A Klingon captain would have to be very bold to travel this far into Federation territory. Where is Captain Taggart? And did you follow his orders? So, I take it you are in command now. Very well. We will escort your ship to Earth's space dock. You just left. 15, 20 minutes. Wait. And if he reveals his position, he will be dealt with accordingly. Until then, you are to set a course for our position. Renown. Okay. officer informs me that we are unable to contact the Kittimer. We will proceed to their coordinates to determine if they require assistance, and your ship will accompany us. I hereby grant you a field promotion. This will give you the proper authority over your crew, and final decision-making ability for your ship until we reach Earth's space dock and report to Admiral Quinn. I got all the stuff, and I got the stuff behind her. her. So, where am I heading? Investigate what happened to the camera. Go to po Pollock system. Yeah. You're alive! How did you survive? I was a sure bet! I would have made a killing! But now I'm going to lose the whole bar of... I mean, uh, hey, nice to see you. Was this Outlook Express? Jeez. No, no, ma'am. Okay. You're alive. Whatever. I'm still, I'm still on tutorial land. Yeah, I'm still. And it starts to leak. We're here, Captain. The USS Kittimer is dead ahead, and the Renown is beside us. Our orders are to make contact with the Kittimer and find out why they've not responded to our hails. Yes, sir. I will require approximately 15 seconds to make the necessary... Ah, Captain Bullock. Captain Tagger? What are you both doing here? Always good to follow the orders of your superior officers. These cadets were the unfortunate victims of a Klingon ambush. Captain Taggart is dead, and the ship is under the command of this cadet. 
The Renown was escorting them back to Earth's space dock, but when we could not raise the Kittimer, I deemed it imperative to alter our course and assess the situation. Captain Yim, what is your status? I'm troubled by the anomalies in this system, and if they're affecting long-range communications, then they're doubly a cause for concern. Let's do this by the numbers. We've already launched nine probes. Now that they're active, we can do an in-depth scan of the anomalies. With all three ships collecting data, we should be able to complete this quickly and formulate a course of action. The Renown has the largest science team, so I recommend we send our data there for analysis. Any questions? Whee. Press right on the D-pad to set your ship's power levels to have a focus on attack, defense, auxiliary, or speed. Okay, so... That is... That's... Frick was that? That's... This is... Okay... Uh, that's defense... That's auxiliary. I'll keep it here. Okay. And I'm going the wrong way. Literally, what about? Reports indicate traces of gamma radiation <gasps> but there's incredible. something off in the readings Kinemer here are you seeing the same gamma radiation levels that we are I'm not sure that a normal scan will be enough we might need to do a full multi-phasic my chief science officer, Commander Davis, suggests that performing a reverse tachyon pulse wave scan will solve our sensor issue. Perform your final scans, and then report back. Okay, whatever the hell that meant. Deflector dish is realigned for reverse tachyon pulse wave, sir. Picking up a transwarp signature. It's right on top of us! The board! Emergency medical hologram aboard the USS Kittimer. I am requesting assistance from any Federation vessel in range. The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. These Borg are different than the ones in my history records. They seem disconnected somehow. They're strange, but still quite dangerous. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. The Borg were brutally efficient on the Kittimer. 
The emergency medical hologram may be in command simply because no one else is fit to do so. The Borg have not been seen in the Alpha Quadrant in decades. Their arrival cannot simply be a coincidence. Yeah. However, I hesitate to speculate without the full data from all of the probes. I will send teams to aid the Kittimer. You will have to finish the scans. We need to know the extent of the Borg presence here. You must also inform me if you or your crew are unable to continue. The Borg evoke a strong emotional response that can rattle even trained Starfleet officers. A crew of cadets that have already survived a Klingon attack may be unable to cope. Yeah, we're good. science team is analyzing it now. Our tactical teams have eliminated the Borg boarding parties on the Kittimer. Why do you ask? There is an 88.47% chance that you will need my help. I have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory and an extensive library of files on military tactics and command strategies. I believe I can spare a few bits of processing power for you. Oh, you're dead. Signatures detected. It's an impatient force. We're outnumbered. There's no way we can. Transwarp signatures. 
The most likely target for a first strike is the Vega system. There is a civilian colony there, and if the Borg could take it by surprise, they would have large numbers of new drones at their disposal. Very observant of you. The Renown is better equipped to hold off further Borg attacks and assist the Kittimer. We must remain here. Once you have warned the colony, return to Earth's space dock. We have to make our way to Vega as soon as we can, Captain. are really never I only did it once with American Army uh, America's Army whatever blah 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 recon stupid because it was dark um, well see you later bye